Hey guys, it's John here again. Um, in this video, um, it's going to be another one in the series of um, songs that got me into a certain band or artist. And this time around, you probably read the title already. So, you know that I'm going to be talking about Ozzy Osbourne. And um, I have not, I did not get into Ozzy till quite late in some people's eyes. But it's not late in uh, millennial eyes, younger people generation. Um, I got into Ozzy when a certain song called, are you ready? No More Tears was released. And that was 1991. And I remember seeing an interview with Ozzy on one of the metal um, music programs in the UK that was played in two or three o'clock in the morning. Uh, Raw Power, uh, or it was, yeah, it was Raw Power then, but then it changed to Noisy Mothers. Um, but yeah, Raw Power, a great, great TV program that was. Um, yeah, so saw this amazing song being played. The video was awesome. I'd seen Ozzy's picture in a magazine on a double spread with his albums around, but never f even thought about, oh yeah, I'll listen to that one day. I might see what that's like. It was this interview and I thought, how cool Ozzy sounded. Um, not knowing his background, obviously. Um, and he was a lot cooler back in 1991 than he is in uh, at this time. So um, I don't listen to Ozzy a huge amount now. Not really into his albums after um, No More Tears. Um, I love Zach Wilde's playing. I like love Jakey e. Lee's playing. Love Randy Rhodes, and um, yes, that's about it for me. Um, for Aussie side, um, it's I obviously I've always I've loved Black Sabbath as well. So, um, what was I going to say? There's a noisy motorbike just went past, and I forgot what I was going to say. Um, but yeah. 1991 we'll go back to then um the video yes was very cool and i immediately thought i've got to go out and buy this album no more tears it's called um but i didn't have a huge amount of money at the time so i went out and i uh ended up buying <laughs> I ended up buying this, and this is my actual first copy um, of an Aussie album. Was it the first one then I bought then? I'm just trying to think. Yes, I actually managed to buy this, um, and I got it on CD instead of buying it on cassette tape, which I used to do back then. And um, it is... Uh, the ultimate sin and this was actually my this is my first copy uh, I have years down the line it got a, a drink spill all over it and I went and replaced it but I've always kept my copy of the ultimate sin um, and then I went and brought Ozzy's No More Tears album on cassette because it was so much cheaper than buying it on CD. CDs back then were a lot more expensive than what people, you know, they're more expensive than what they are now, I think. Um, but yeah, to buy a cassette was about six, seven pound, I think. Um, I'm not sure how much No More Tears was back then, but um, most cassettes were six, seven, or less than a tenner. 
But um, there's my other two copies of Ultimate Sin. Um, so I have got a copy of No More Tears original CD, which I got years down the line. Um, I probably picked that up a few couple of years or so ago. Um, but I, my first actual CD of No More Tears was one of those horrible um, ones that I don't know if this was redone, redone with a bass, but this is in that um, load of CDs that Sharon Osborne uh, got her dirty mitts into and removed Bob Daisley and Lee Kerslake's um, playing. I don't know if she got rid of the bass on this for um, Bob Daisley, but I think he played on this um, some most of the stuff. Um, but yeah, it's got Mike Inez on there as bass player, but I'm sure it was Daisley who played the bass. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, that was my original one i kept the cassette for a long long time until i got that on cd um but i used to play the cassette no more tears loads uh, i will show you um i have got no more tears i've had a couple of these actually and i think i i can't remember if i've got rid of one it might be in my stuff that i put in the record fair i'm not sure but this is um the 12 inch of No More Tears picture disc. There's the inlay sleeve on the back with the lyrics, and there's the back of the disc. That's very cool. I'd love to have more um, Aussie stuff um, on vinyl, like the picture discs and the uh, singles and stuff. I have got a few, but not a huge amount. And obviously I've just showed you that. That's the only No More Tears seven inch I've got. And then the other things from that album I've got is Mama I'm Coming Home CD single. I wish I had the No More Tears CD, CD single, but I don't. This had um, Don't Blame Me on, which is a very cool song, I love it. Absolutely love that song. And then it's got Steve, Ozzy on the Steve Wright show as well. But yeah, very, very cool. And I do have the 7-inch um, of Mama I'm Coming Home, which was a very cool song as well, and still is. Uh, and that has got uh, Don't Blame Me on, on the other side. No More Tears, actual song on the other side is... S-I-N, which I forget what, it's, what it stands for now, but someone will remind me in the comments, some Aussie uh, fan. I've been an Aussie fan since 1991, um, and Black Sabbath from the same time as well. Um, but yeah, um, I... I when I do my Black Sabbath video for this, um, it will probably be similar to this one because Aussie was the, the, the way I got into Black Sabbath. Um, not hearing, I, didn't, I hadn't even heard um, Black Sabbath before, so, which is probably kind of hard when all they do is, a, all they ever play is Paranoid. <laughs> I can't remember if I had heard that before, so I can't be too sure. Um, I don't remember hearing it. Um, so that is all I can show you for No More Tears. But yes, No More Tears introduced me to Zach Wild, which, which I do follow, and the awesome Randy Rhodes and the awesome Jakey Lee. And then I sort of followed the band's Aussie's been, or oh, Black Sabbath, Aussie, Black Label Society, um, Pride, of, Pride and Glory, which is great Zach Wilde stuff, 
um, and then I, I followed or tried I followed Badlands which was Jakey Lee and what else and whatever bands the other guys have been in so like Randy Castillo was in um, a few bands as well so which I can't remember who they were now I'm sure he was in Stone Fury for uh, a little time but do follow them um, or did right there we go any bands you can think of that I miss I haven't said that um, any of the members have been in um, that you think I might like let me know in the comments below but let me know what your journey into finding out about Ozzy was just put it in the comments below or even anybody that makes videos put your video link in my description and I'll follow it and see what your video is like so and I want to see your story so cheers for watching keep rocking and listening to whatever it is you're listening to and um yeah see you later